every girl, every boy, come on up. Surprises are fun, aren't they? Yes, sometimes they are. But I didn't really like that one. Well, that's what I'm doing today. Surprises! <laughs> hmm, now, who can I surprise next? Uh, <laughs> I think I'll surprise Pom. She'll love my surprise. Bye, Flory! Bye, Fimbo! <laughs> Shh! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Pom. Oh, Fimpo. Did you like my surprise? No. Oh, Pom, jump. But my surprises are the best. That's what I'm doing today. Surprises. Oh. Oh, what's wrong with everyone? They don't like my surprises. like that surprise of Fimbo's, did you, little one? It made me jump. Did it make you jump? <laughs> oh. oh, I'm getting the fumbling feeling. I'm going to find something. Hooray! I can hear a sound It's telling me there's something Waiting to be found Where is it? Where is it? What could it be? I think it might be over there Let's go and see Oh, there is something to be found here But where is it? Is it here? No, or is it there? Oh, oh can you see it anywhere? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, another one! How funny! Oh, I found something very strange. It makes me go... <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, Flory Love. Oh, Bessie, I've not found something very funny. <laughs> you found a hiccup. Hiccup? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> There's a funny little something that makes a funny sound It's very hard to find it, but you know when it is found It jumps up from your tummy as quick as quick can be So now you've got the hiccups, you can hick along with me You see, that's what they sound like <laughs> Oh, another one <laughs> was that? Ah, a flurry noise. <laughs> Flurry's got the hiccups today. Hiccups, yes, that's right. <laughs> oh. Hello, hiccups. Sing, sing. <laughs> 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 
Coco bears a funny little something that makes a funny sound. Ah. It's very hard to find it, but you know when it is found. It jumps up from your tummy as quick as quick can be. <laughs> so now you've got the hiccups, you can hiccup along with me. <laughs> That's a hiccup, Tom. You two, that was marvellous. Hip hops. That's right, Pom. Hiccups. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, lovely. <laughs> the song's finished. You <laughs> can stop hiccuping now, Pom. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I think Pom's got the hiccups as well now. Oh, 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 oh dear! <laughs> I think all that laughing has given Pom the hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a lovely, quiet place. Cool. I've been bouncing about a lot today. Oh, <laughs> jumping jelly beans. Oh. You know, sometimes if you've been bouncing about, you just need to sit quietly for a bit. Well, I do anyway. Oh, just right for sitting quietly for a bit. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Oh, smelly jelly Fimbo. Hello, Rocket. Oh, hello, Fimbo. <laughs> Did you like my surprise? Uh, well, uh, the thing is, I just wanted to sit quietly for a bit. Oh, dear. Hmm. Even Rocket didn't like my surprise. Well, that's what I'm doing today, jumping out and surprising everyone. <laughs> See you later, Rocket. Oh, See you later, Fimbo. Oh. Do you know, I feel a bit wibbly wobbly, bibbly bobbly, flubbly now. <laughs> oh, what's that noise? <laughs> oh, it's coming from over there. Hey! <laughs> Ooh, it's a very bouncy noise. Let's go and find out what it is. <laughs> oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh, what's all this then? Rocket, we've got hiccups. Rocket, <laughs> Oh, hiccups, is it? Oh, I know all about hiccups. Do you, Rocket? Oh, yes, of course. I am the hiccuping frog. Oh, uh, just remind me, what are hiccups again? Fing! Fing! <laughs> There's a funny little something that makes a funny sound. It's very hard to find it, but you know when it is found. It jumps up from your tummy. Sweet Pea, they will go away. We just don't know when. Oh, good. <laughs> Mind you, there are things you can do to help the hiccups go away. Oh, oh what can we do, Bessie? Oh, well, you can try drinking some water. Huh, panting water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just drink a little bit at a time, Poppet. Oh. Has that helped, Pom? Oh, you've still got them. <laughs> oh, I've still got them too. <laughs> oh, Pom got hiccups. <laughs> oh dear, that didn't work. Now let me think. What else could we try? Oh, I know. What about something to stop you thinking about the hiccups? How about a little name game? Oh, what's a name game? Well, you make up a little rhyme about your name, like, um, Hello, I'm Bessie, 
and I'm rather messy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, I know, I know. Uh, my name's Rocket. You can put me in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 my name is Flory. I can't think of anything. Sorry. Oh, but, but that's good, Flory. Flory sounds like sorry. <laughs> oh, yes. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, hi, Pum. Pum, ti pum, ti pum. Oh, well done. Have your hiccups gone? <laughs> oh, dear. There is something else you can do, but I just can't remember what it is. <laughs> Look, everyone's over there. I could surprise them all at the same time. Boo! Simba! That was a great surprise, wasn't it? <laughs> Fimbo, you made us jump. Oh, Fimbo. Fimbo. Ooh, everybody. Listen. Listen to what? I can't hear anything. No. No one's making a sound. Exactly. What do you mean, Betty? Hip hop. No hip hop. Oh. oh, we've all stopped hiccuping. Oh, so we have. Oh, oh, oh. It must have been Fimble's surprise. I remember now, surprises are the other thing that can make the hiccups go away. <laughs> Now, watch out for some surprises here. Surprise! <laughs> Ooh, she's got a present. I wonder what's inside. Oh, a lovely surprise! Surprise! Boo! Hello, everyone. What's been going on here? Hello, Hello Rolly. Everyone had the hiccups. And then I gave everyone a big surprise. Hear that gun? I see. A surprise, eh? Well, I think I might have a story with a surprise in it. Would you like to hear it? Oh, yes, please. Oh, darling, darling. <laughs> Back in a Rolly. Moo. <laughs> 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 When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. boo. Wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a fiddle or two. What you might see. A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Dolly, Dolly! Now, are you sitting comfortably? Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a little girl, and everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, her mother said, I've made some buns for your grandma. Will you take them to her? A visit to grandma was always exciting, because she would sometimes play tricks on her granddaughter. So, off dashed Little Red Riding Hood. In the forest, two friendly rabbits ran in front of her, but suddenly they vanished. And there was Wolf, hanging upside down in a tree. Oh, Wolf, she said, you scared those rabbits. Ho, 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 grinned the Wolf. He enjoyed scaring rabbits. What have you got in your basket? Buns for Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood. Not for you. And she went on her way. When she reached Grandma's cottage, she stepped inside. 
Granny, where are you? I'm in bed, came the gruff reply. That doesn't sound like Grandma, thought Little Red Riding Hood. She went into the bedroom. Your eyes look very large today, Grandma, she said. All the better to see you with, my dear. And your nose, it's very large too. All the better to smell those lovely buns you've brought me. Grandma, your mouth is huge too. All the better to eat. Eat what? said Little Red Riding Hood. Just then the door was flung wide open. It was Grandma and she was laughing. The wolf sat up. He was dressed in Grandma's best nightdress and cap. <laughs> and he was laughing. Now, he said, may I have one of those buns? <laughs> so Grandma, Little Red Riding Hood and the wolf had the buns for tea. Oh, Grandma and the wolf gave Little Red Riding Hood a surprise. <laughs> that was a really good surprise. <laughs> oh, I like surprises like that, oh, especially when there are buns in it. <laughs> oh, good. I thought that you would like that story. <laughs> oh. oh, Rolly. Was that a hiccup? Well, I think it was, but it wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. Oh, it wasn't me. Not Pam. And it wasn't... <laughs> Oh, it was me. Fimbo! Oh, no. Oh, I've got the hiccups now. Oh, oh no. <laughs> There's a funny little something that makes a funny sound. Surprises, or do they make you jump? Come and find us next time, won't you? Now we must fly. Goodbye. Every girl, every boy, come and open up your eyes. There's a world right here.
ship sails on the alley alley oh, the alley alley oh, the alley alley oh, the big ship sails on the alley alley oh, on the last day of September. Oh. Hello. <laughs> That's a tippity toppity boat you've made there, Fimbo. Oh, thank you, Rocket. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> mm, I haven't finished making it, though. Um, what else do you think it needs, Rocket? Oh, uh, oh, I know, I know. Wheels. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wheels? No, Rocket. It needs something to make it sail across the sea. It needs a sail so the wind can blow it along. A sail? Oh, a sail too! Of course it needs a sail, oh, so the wind can blow it along. Oh, Fimbo's boat needs a sail to cross the sea, a sail to cross the sea, a sail to cross the sea. A Fimbo's boat needs a sail to cross the sea, the deep blue, deep blue sea. <laughs> um, Rocket, will you help me make a sail for my boat? Oh, yes, please. I'm good at making sails. I am the sail-making frog. Oh, good. Well, uh, how do we make it then, Rocket? Uh, Oh, um, <laughs> do you think we need a stick and some paper? Oh, I was just going to say that, Fimbo. Were you? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Fimbo. <laughs> oh, oh, the, the wind, wind blows the boat across the deep blue sea, the deep blue sea, the deep blue sea. The wind blows the boat across the deep blue sea, the deep blue, deep blue sea. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Now, what shape shall we make our sail? Hmm. Think of a shape. Hmm. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> ah, <got you. laughs> it's Pom's turn now. What it is? It's a house! Oh, <laughs> that is a fine house you're drawing. It's fit for a thimble. <laughs> oh, thank you, Bessie. Look, it's got four windows. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh, and a door. 
I'm going to colour it blue. Oh, I do love blue. It reminds me of the sea. Oh, oh, oh now I need to draw the roof. <laughs> yes, Flory, you will need a roof or everybody will get wet when it rains. <laughs> <laughs> a nice pointy roof with three sides. One, two, three. That's perfect, Puppet. <laughs> a jungle, jungle, a jungle, jungle. Tango, jungle, tango, jungle, tango, tango, jungle. Oh, what's a tango, jungle, Pom? Oh, do you mean that triangle, Pom? Uh, hello, triangle. Oh, tango. Yes, look, she's playing her triangle with a beater. Here are some more triangle shapes. Oh, there's another triangle! And the sails on those boats are triangle shapes too. Can you see any triangles here? Mm, oh yes! Cheese triangle! <laughs> Somebody's making a cheese triangle sandwich. And what shape are these flags? Triangles! Triangles! Oh, look, Mum! I've drawn a triangle too! <laughs> Bomb. You need to hit it with the beater. Oh, a jungle gun? No jungle. Oh. oh dear, Pom's triangle has lost its dangle and its jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it dropped off while you were walking along, Pom? Oh, jungle gun. Oh, don't worry, Pom. Let's go and see if we can find it. Oh, yes. Find a dangle. You'll have that triangle jangling in no time. <laughs> now then, Rocket, um, which of these shapes do you think will make the best sail? How about this one? It looks like a banana. Oh. <laughs> uh, what about this one? A squash tomato. <laughs> uh, this one? A big fat sausage. <laughs> A big fat sausage. <laughs> so, none of my shapes look anything like a sail. Um, oh, hello, Roly. Oh, hello, Fimbo. Hello, Rocket. Oh, you look very busy. Mm, we're trying to make a sail for my boat so the wind can blow it along. But Rocket thinks my sail shapes look like a banana, a squashed tomato and a big fat sausage. <laughs> we need a tippity-toppity shape for our sail, Rowley. Hmm. Well, I think I've got a story that might help. Would you like to hear it? Oh, yes, yes please, please Rowley. Rowley. right -o. You get yourself settled. Back in a rolly mo. When you take the book inside the book, who knows what you will see? When you take the book inside the book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. a sail for my boat, Roly. Oh, it might do, Fimbo. Here's a clue. Look out for the clown's hat. Mm. Now, are you sitting comfortably? Uh, uh, yes. yes. Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called Where's My Hat? Once there were three friends. A firefighter, a builder and a clown. They all had to wear special clothes for their work. Special shoes, trousers, tops and special hats. 
The firefighter wore a firefighter's hat. The builder wore a builder's hat. And the clown wore a clown's hat. One afternoon, they all went out for a walk. It was a breezy day and the wind was blowing. Suddenly, the wind blew so hard that it blew off all their hats. The firefighter's hat, the builder's hat, and the clown's hat were all blown high into the sky. And then suddenly the hats came down again. But something was wrong. That's not my hat, said the firefighter. And that's not my hat, said the builder. And this is certainly not my hat, said the clown. What are we going to do? I know, said the firefighter. Let's take them all off and start again. Can you help them? Do you know which is the right hat? Which is the firefighter's hat? No, this isn't my hat. So, is this the firefighter's hat? No, this isn't my hat either. So is this her hat? Yes, this is my hat. Next, it was the builder's turn. Is this his hat? No, that's not my hat. Then is it this one? No, that's not my hat either. What about this one? Yes, this is my hat. Last of all, it was the clown's turn. Is this his hat? No, boo hoo hoo. Then is it this one? No, boo hoo hoo. Then is it this one? It certainly is. That's better. Now everyone has got the right hat back. So the firefighter, the builder, and the clown all went home, holding onto their hats to make sure they didn't blow away again. Wind blows lots of things along, doesn't it, Rolly? Yes, it does, Fimbo. Like leaves and hats and boots. I still don't know what shape my sail should be. Hmm. Do you remember what shape the clown's hat was? Oh, I think so, Rolly. I do, I do. It had three sides. Let's go, Fimbo. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, see you later, Rolly. Oh, uh, goodbye, Fimbo. Uh, good luck with your sail. Can you think of a shape that has three sides? Can you? That's right. A triangle has three sides. <laughs> Cheerio. Ooh, uh, what's that in the grass? Hey, look what I found, Rocket. Uh, I wonder what it is. Oh, it's a shiny pencil. Do you think so? Uh, a shiny pencil? Oh, yes. Uh, can you draw a picture of me, Fimbo? Um... Uh, I don't think it is a pencil rocket. I can't see which end does the drawing. Oh, uh, I know. It's a thimble nose scratcher. <laughs> hmm. Oh. <laughs> I think it's a rocket frog tickler. <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Flory. Hello, Paul. <laughs> Hello, Timbo. Have you seen what I found? I found a rocket frog. Frog tickler! It's a tangle there! Uh, no, no, Pom, it's a rocket frog tickler. No, it's a palm dangle. A dangle? A dangle? Uh, uh, what's a dangle? It's for playing a triangle. Ah, a dangle, a chuckle. Oh, one, two, three sides. A triangle! Ah. That's the same shape as the clown's hat, and it's the shape I need for my sail. Oh, Pom, could I borrow your triangle? Mm. Oh, please, Pom. It would really help me make a sail for my boat. Uh, you can have this. Oh, all right, Simba. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Pom. Oh, oh, Pom, <laughs> Sail 
sail for my boat. <laughs> What's that, Fibbo? Mm -hmm. Something for us to eat! <laughs> Crabble Crackers! <laughs> <laughs> shapes today. Come and find us next time, won't you? Now we must fly. Goodbye. Sleep now. Oh, Pom won't baby too. <coughs> 
Oh, hello, you two. Shh, Rocket. Oh, sorry. Hello, you three. <laughs> Little one looks very comfy, Flurry. Yes, I'm just putting her to bed. Bing. <sighs> oh, dear, Pum Pum. What's happened to your sunny smile today? Pum want baby too. Oh. Ooh. It does look like fun, doesn't it? Mm. All that cuddling. Oh, mm. I sing too. Oh, yes. Singing and cuddling. It almost makes me wish I was a baby. Mm. That's it, Pum. I could be your baby. Rocket baby? Oh, yes. I'd be a very good baby, Pum. No crying or wriggling. Look. Uh, you could give me lots of cuddles and sing loads of songs. Oh, yes, yes. Pum have baby. Baby Rocket is bath time now. Bing. Bath time? Ooh. Uh, does that mean you're going to scrub and wash between my toes with scrubbly bubbly soap? Yes. Bing. Baby Rocket, uh, bath time. Uh, well, uh, it's a tippity toppity idea, Pom, but uh, I think I've just remembered something I've got to do. Uh, uh, bye. Oh, uh, oh. Baby Rocket, come back, Baby Rocket. Oh, Baby Rocket! Baby Rocket! Oh! 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 Bessie, Pom and I were going to play babies. Well, that sounds like a lovely game. Well, that's what I thought, except now she wants to give me a bath. But, Rocket, Ooh. I don't understand. You're a frog. Frogs like water, don't they, Chuck? Oh, it's not the water, Bessie. It's all that washing and scrubbly bubbling and rubber dub dubbing. I don't like that. <laughs> it's not funny, Bessie. Bubbles in your nose and in your mouth. And then she's going to wash between my toes. Oh, smelly jelly. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, no. Here she is now. Yuck, yuck. Pum Fimpy Fried. Hello, my little lovely. What have you got there? Pum Fimpy Fried something. Oh, that's a funny glove, Pum. Oh, it's only got one finger. Oh, glove? Pum Fine Glove? Oh, it looks funny because I don't think it's a glove at all, Pum Love. It's a shoe. Oh, Pum Sue. Oh, a shoe too small. That's right, my darling, it is too small. That's because it's for a tiny baby. Not a baby, Pum. It's a baby shoe. Oh, hello, baby Sue. going to play a game. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. <laughs> ha! Cheeky guy! Cool! Look at those tiny toes. Oh, see and 
that sweet little sausage has made me all broody. I'm going to go and give my own little fluffy love a great big mumsy cuddle. I wonder where he is. Oh, bye for now. <laughs> Baby Rocket. <laughs> Baby Rocket. <laughs> a piggy market. <laughs> a piggy night. <laughs> a piggy king. <laughs> No, Pum. I think your little baby might need a nice cuddle after all that. Mm, I'm very tired. Oh, yes. Uh, Pum, wrap up the warm baby rocket. Hey, Tickles. Ooh, ooh, help. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm sure little one doesn't get treated like this. Oh, oh. little one. Little one. Oh, Pum, find little one. Come back, Pum. Oh, tickle my tadpoles. But now, what am I going to do? I know. I'll see if Fimbo can help. Fimbo! 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 What's that? Is anybody there? Help! I can't jump! That sounds like Rocket! Uh, don't worry, Rocket! I'm coming! <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> What's Rocket done now? He's all wrapped up! <laughs> I like your new coat! <laughs> oh, yes, very funny, Pooh. It's not a coat, you know, it's a blanket. But why are you wearing it like that? You can't move. Oh, I know that, Fimbo. It was Pob. I was pretending to be her baby. Oh. <laughs> oh, you do look like a very sweet baby rocket. Uh, goochie, goochie, tickly wiggly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she wanted to give me a bath. A bath? Oh, I love bath time. Oh, I wish I'd been Pom's baby instead. Oh, well, Fimbo, uh, if you're nice to me, I might let you have a turn at being the baby. Oh, really, Rocket? Oh, you are kind. Here, um, uh, let me undo that blanket for you. Oh, cool. That's better. Right then, let's go and find Pom and tell her it's your turn to be baby. Hooray! Oh, come on, Rocket! <laughs> Poor Fimbo. Pom's going to scrub a dub dub his toes till tea time. <laughs> Oh, wakey, wakey, little one. Oh, look, look, Pom, simply find Sue. A Sue, a little one. Oh, Pom, that's lovely. Oh. oh, little one's awake now. Let's see if it fits. Oh, oh look how smart she is. You are clever, Pom. <laughs> Where's the other one? The other shoe, Pom. She needs another one for the other foot. Oh, a Pom find one shoe. Oh, oh, never mind, Pom. Let's make her the other shoe. Oh, oh. make shoe. Oh, uh, Pom help. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, mm -hmm. very clever. <laughs> oh, there we are. Oh yeah, a nice bow. Oh, nice bow. Ta-da! <sighs> Little one's got two new shoes. <laughs> Lovely new shoes to dance in. Oh, Florrie, 
Well, what do we have here? The little one's looking very lively today. Yes, she's got new shoes. Pom found one and then we made the other one. Ooh. Look! <laughs> well, they are lovely, aren't they? Do you know, I think I might have a story about new shoes. Would you like to hear it? Oh, yes, please. And so would little one. <laughs> right oh, back in a roly mo. <laughs> Over here, books over there, books, books everywhere. When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Oh, wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Ah, here we are. Are you sitting comfortably? Yes, we are. <laughs> Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called Molly's New Shoes. Molly had new shoes. They were brand new shiny brown shoes and Molly was wearing them for the first time. What do they feel like, Molly? asked her dad. Hmm, they feel a bit stiff, she said. Try walking in them, said dad. So Molly did. Clump, clump, clump. The shoes were really noisy. New shoes are like that sometimes, said Dad. You'll get used to them. So they went to the park for a walk. Clump, clump, clump. These shoes are really noisy, said Molly. In the park, they met Molly's friend Marinda and her dad. The two dads sat on a bench talking. Come and feed the birds with me, said Marinda. She showed Molly a big bag of breadcrumbs. And they went over to where some birds were hopping on the grass. Clump, clump, clump. Molly's shoes were so noisy, the birds twittered and flew away. You frightened them, Molly, said Marinda. It wasn't me, it was my noisy shoes, said Molly. Let's try again, said Marinda. Marinda went up to the birds, who hadn't gone far away. She started throwing some breadcrumbs to them. Come on, Molly, she said. Clump, clump, clump. The birds flew away again. They didn't like Molly's new shoes. They were far too noisy. Hmm, said Marinda. I've got an idea. Marinda stood next to Molly with the breadcrumbs. Stay very still, Molly, said Marinda. Don't move your shoes. She stood very, very still. And the birds came close enough to them to eat the breadcrumbs. You can help me now, said Marinda. Help me throw the breadcrumbs. So Molly did. Keeping her noisy new shoes very, very still. <laughs> I'm glad little one hasn't got noisy shoes. Ooh, and why is that? <laughs> because they would have kept her awake. And look, she's fast asleep now. Ah, lovely. Doesn't she look cosy? Come on, <laughs> Rocket! <laughs> Oh, hello, Rocket. Or should I say, Baby Rocket? Pom's looking for you. Oh, Baby Rocket. Oh, Baby Rocket. <laughs> uh, Pom, can Fimbo have a go at being your baby? Oh, yes, please, Pom. Can I be your baby now? Oh, yes, please. Come on, Baby Fimbo. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait until she tries to wash between his toes. <laughs> Let's go and see. Whee! Oh. Baby Fimbo eating at the cracker? Mm -hmm. um, um, this is a lovely game, Pom. I'm really enjoying being your baby. <laughs> <laughs> What's Pom doing? She's supposed to be scrub a dub dubbing his toes, not feeding him scrubby, yummy, crumbly crackers. Oh, it's not fair. Another cracker? Oh, lovely baby. Oh, well, my little chickadee, the fembo. 
Bubbles had a busy day today. And can you remember who found the shoe? Yes, it was Little Pom. But it didn't fit her. Oh, Baby Rocket. So she gave it to Little One. And then Florrie and Pom made another one to match. So Little One had a lovely pair of dancing shoes. Have you got a cuddly toy to look after? Perhaps you could make it some new shoes to dance in. Come and find us again next time, won't you? Now, we must fly. Bye-bye. Every girl, every boy Come and open up your eyes There's a world right here Full of wonder and surprise Let's go and find the Fimbles! Fimbles, Fimbles, Fimbles We're the Fimbles! Those thimbles have got to, I wonder. Can you see them anywhere? Ah. <laughs> Who could that be? Oh, it's Pom. Hello, baby Pom. Hello, Bessie. I'm Pom hiding. Oh, who are you hiding from? Sorry. Oh, watch out. Here she comes. Hello, Florichuk. Oh, hello, Bessie. We're playing hide and seek. Oh, have you seen Pom anywhere? Ah, well. Oh, well... it's all right, Bessie. I'm going to try and find Fimbo first. He'll be easy to find. Why is that? Because he's been eating crumble crackers, and I can follow the crumbs. See you later, Bessie. <laughs> Ta ta for now, Flory. <laughs> Have I come, Bessie? Yes, don't worry, my duck. She's gone to find Fimbo. Now, I wonder where he's hiding. Oh, no, no, I can't think of anywhere to hide. Where shall I go? <laughs> Hello, Fimbo. Oh, Rocky, I'm really pleased to see you. <laughs> well, of course you're pleased to see me. Everyone's pleased to see me. <laughs> so, oh, what you up to, Fimbo? I'm hiding from Flory. Ooh. Hide and seek. <laughs> I love hide and seek. But I need a hiding place. Where can I hide, Rocky? Well, I've got a super dee doobity place. Oh, really? Where? Here, behind me. Oh, are you sure? Oh, yes, and no one will look there. And you won't tell anyone else? Nope, absolutely not. I won't say a word. Oh, thanks, Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> my froggy lips are sealed. I won't. Say a word. <laughs> what, Rocket? <laughs> oh, what did you say? I said I won't say a word. Oh, sure, sure, <laughs> Rocket. She'll hear us. Sorry, Fimbo. <laughs> I am the silent frog. <laughs> oh, hello, Rocket. Uh, are you all right, Rocket? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you talking like that, Rocket? Uh, what, you mean like this? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I can hear something. Simba, found you. Oh, Rocket, you made me laugh. <laughs> Sorry, Fimbo. Oh, come on, Fimbo. You can help me find Palm.
I said, ah, uh, I said, oh, ah, uh, I, I said, tree. Oh, pretty red tree. Oh, palm love red. <laughs> Tree. Yellow is my favorite color. Interesting, Pom. Oh, oh, Pom! Bessie, come and see my yellow tree. Yellow? Oh, a yellow tree too. Oh, guess what I found? <laughs> could it be a tree? Uh, oh, yes, uh, I suppose it could be. How did you know? Oh, just a wise old bird's guess. What colour is your tree, Fimbo? Oh, my tree is green. Uh, come see, Bessie. <laughs> No, it's green! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Look, Chucky Eggs, it's all three colours. It's red and yellow and green because it's a traffic light. Hello, traffic light. Oh, there's another traffic light! It's green. <laughs> traffic lights belong on the roads. And they tell the cars when to stop and when to go. Green means go and red means stop. When the cars stop, it's safe to cross the road. Green means go. Oh, what does yellow mean, Bessie? Yellow and red mean stop. Now the cars have stopped and they can safely cross the road. means the cars can go again. Green for go!
So, red means stop. Red, stop. That's right. Red means stop. Oh, yellow. That's my favourite colour. Yellow. Oh, and green means go. That's right, Thimble. Green for go. And that's what I'm going to do. See you later, lovelies. Oh, bye, oh. Bessie. Okay. Oh, hello, everyone. Um, I like your tree. Oh, it's red. Oh, hold on. It's yellow. Cool. Now it's green. Yellow, red, green. Oh, ooh, it's making me all dizzy. Oh. <laughs> it's not a tree rocket. Traffic lights. Yes, it's a traffic light. And it's all our favourite colours. Red, yellow and green. Oh. Ooh. Will it go blue? That's my favourite colour. Oh. oh, sorry, Rocket. I don't think it does. Oh, smelly jelly too. Uh, maybe if I look at it for long enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rocket, it only goes... Red, yellow, green, blue. Blue. Oh dear, no blue. <laughs> oh, 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 what a very colourful sight. Red, yellow and green, but no blue. Oh, Rocket's sad, Roly, because he wants our traffic light to go blue. But it won't, will it? Oh, oh, no, I'm afraid it won't, Rocket. Hmm, let me think now. Would it help if I found a story all about blue, eh? Oh, a story? Just for me? Oh, yes, please. Right o back in a roly mo. <laughs> when you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo, boo, wonderful things. Giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Ah, here we are. Are you sitting comfortably? Yes. Oh, yes. Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called Blue. It was winter time and the world was feeling dull. It needed a good spring clean and all the colour elves were getting ready with their paints to brighten it up. I can't wait to start painting, said the yellow elf. I'm going to paint the sun yellow. I can't wait to start painting, said the green elf. I'm going to paint the grass green. And I can't wait to start painting, said the Red Elf. I'm going to paint the flowers red. I'm not going to paint anything, said the Blue Elf, who was very grumpy. I'm just going to stay in bed all day. The Yellow Elf took a paper and painted the sun yellow. It shone and shone. The Green Elf took his paper and painted the grass green. It waved in the sunshine. The Red Elf took her paintbrush and painted the flowers red. They stood up happily in the sunshine. But there was still something missing. The Yellow Elf and the Green Elf and the Red Elf all tried to work out what it was. I know, said the Yellow Elf. It's the sky. The sky hasn't been painted. That's right, said the Green Elf. Do you think the Blue Elf is still in bed? Let's go and see, said the Red Elf. So they all went to see the Blue Elf. Come on, Blue Elf, they said. The grass is green, the flowers are red, and the sun is shining. All we need is the blue sky. The Blue Elf looked at all the colours. They shone and shone. Hooray, said the Blue Elf, and jumped out of bed. She was so excited that when she had finished painting the sky blue, she decided to paint lots of other things blue. Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Rolly. You've really cheered me up. Blue's my favourite colour. Did you know that? <laughs> well, yes. I rather thought it was, Rocket. Ding. In fact, I'm so cheered up, I've thought of a game. Come on, everyone! Hey! <laughs> well, Rocket, what's the game? Oh, it's called Get Ready! <laughs> when the light is yellow, that means get ready! And when the light is red... We all stop! Hey. And when it's green, hey. we can go! Oh, <laughs> but what about when it's blue? Oh, no, it, it doesn't, doesn't go, go blue, blue Rocket! Rocket. Uh, I know, I was only joking. Uh, so, the first one to get to me is the winner. And if I see anyone moving when they shouldn't be moving, I'll send you straight back to the beginning. Oh, <laughs> that's that's tippy tie time, tippy tie time. Yeah, that's right, Bom. It's just like tiptoe time. Oh, okie croaky. Are you ready? Back to the beginning. <laughs> Go, one, one, one. Get it. Go. Red, yellow, green. Red, yellow, green. Red for stop. Green for go. Yellow for ready in between. All our favourite colours. Red, yellow, green. <laughs> yellow. Get ready! It's red! Stop! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Back you go, Fimbo! Oh. Oh, Fimbo. Uh, 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 back you go too, Flory! Oh. Oh. It's green! Go, go, go! <laughs> hey! Pom's the winner! Yay! <laughs> oh, that was fun! Where is Pom? Yet you want a sprue, a rocket. Oh, thank you, Pom. <laughs> Red, yellow, green, and blue. Yay! <laughs> Red, yellow, green, and blue. Red, yellow, green, and blue. Red for stop, green for go, yellow for ready in between. All our favourite colours. Chickadee, the Fimbles had a busy time today. Do you remember who found the traffic light? That's right, it was Pom. She thought it was a red tree, didn't she? But when Flory found it, she thought it was a yellow tree. Then Fimble found it, he thought it was green. That's right, Fimble thought it was a green tree. But really, it was the same thing they'd found, wasn't it? Only it changed colours. A traffic light, that's right, you clever darling. Maybe you'll see a traffic light today where you live. Come and find us again soon, won't you? Now we must fly. Goodbye.